Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Krinovic. If you're new and if you're not new, hey girl, hey. I did a little something different, a little something different. It's still giving goddess, it's still giving boho, but twist. And I try to do like a little twist on the boho flip over method. I'll insert a picture of how like they regularly look. And I just did it in twist and I am in love. Like somebody take me on a vacation right now. Like what? This looks so good. I'm so proud of myself and I, it just came out exactly how I envisioned. So if you guys wanna achieve this look, I got you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Now let's get right into this video. I washed and blow dried my hair and then I pre-sectioned it off camera just to make it easier for me. I did 12 rows and then six on each side. So the first two rows from the middle section, I did four partings. And then the four at the end, I did three partings in each. And then I just mirrored whatever I did on that side and on the other side. All right. Once I was done with that, I sectioned my hair because the back was just going to be regular twists. Let me show you guys. Let me tell you. Didn't say I never put you guys on. You see how crispy those partings are? And I did those myself. I found this parting mirror from Amazon. I'm going to link it down below. And it's a game changer, y'all. I promise. Anyway, the hair we're going to be using for the bowl hold today is from Eon Hair. I have the 20 inches of their wet and wavy hair. I went ahead and washed and conditioned the hair just so I could see how the curl pattern was going to be. And I loved it. I also combed it so you guys can see if it has like the little flyaways and nothing. As you know, it's bulk hair, so it's off the weft. Easier for you to use and everything. I went ahead and sprayed some conditioner on it. So it's just, it makes the process easier. If you just do that and then go ahead and start separating the hair. As you can see, the hair is very easy to separate. It wasn't getting tangled or nothing, which I loved. We all about working easier, working smarter, okay? We, we saving time and we doing things better. I went ahead and started sectioning the hair. I'm gonna show you guys the pieces that I was using. The curly hair that I was feeding in was about yay big. Um, you can do it as big or as small as you want. Honestly, I went ahead and did like different, some some sections were bigger than the others, the other ones were smaller. It's boho, it's, that's the beauty of it. It doesn't have to look uniform. Also, when I first got this hair, it was a little looser than what I expected. So when you see it, don't get scared. Once I washed and conditioned it, it was really good. Just a disclaimer. And then for this hairstyle, you're also gonna need kinky hair. I just used one and I split it in half. And then one of the half pieces, you wanna split that as well. So one full kinky hair, you'll get about four pieces to use. And then also you're just gonna need regular braiding hair. If you want, I've seen people use the actual like bowl hair to braid. So basically just braid your whole head with human hair. You can do that, but I decided to use braiding hair. To start off your hair, you wanna go ahead and just apply gel. I use Shine and Gem to the hair, so it's just easier to control. We don't want any hair slipping out of the twist. And then once you do that, you wanna go ahead and grab your crochet hook and put the kinky hair in. Once you have the kinky hair in, you want to make sure that one side is longer than the other. Just because we're wrapping the hair, so we want to make sure by the time we're done wrapping at the bottom, the hair is going to be even. So I'm about to go ahead and start wrapping the hair. As you can see, I was struggling a little bit, but honestly, after you do a couple of more twists, you're going to get used to it. It just takes time for you to get the hang of it. And I won't say that I had like a number of times that I twisted. I honestly just like calculated in my head if I felt like that's how long I want it then I'll do that so you could just estimate however you want and then you're gonna get your actual hair and split it in half so you have hair on both sides then go ahead and add some shining jam or whatever gel you're using just so the hair does not slip out and then I like to have curls at the top so I started adding my curly hair and then go ahead and twist one or two times and then get the curly piece, the longer side, out of the way. 
to create that boho effect and then you want to add hair so it's thick so I'm adding braiding hair and then once I do that I'm gonna go ahead and start twisting um, this video is not showing you how to learn how to twist I'm sure there's a couple videos on YouTube about that but I hope this is self-explanatory enough to where you can do it yourself I'm gonna go ahead and add another piece just because it wasn't thick enough um, so yeah like I said depending on how thick you want the braids then you'll know when to add braiding hair or not I'm gonna braid a little bit more and then I'm gonna go ahead and add me some curly piece again you can add as many curly pieces as you want I went on changing in the back I didn't add as much curly pieces but once I reached the middle I started adding about five to seven just because I wanted it to have a little bit more curls this hair was really good guys honestly it's really soft so if you've been buying different hair and you're struggling it feels rough I think this is a good um, a good hair to have anyway just gonna go ahead and twist down and I turned back so you guys can see properly also what you're gonna see here is I was ending the braids with the curly hair but it ended up being too long for me I did not want it, my hair to be that long so I ended up not doing this method but once I show you guys how I'm doing the front you'll see that I ended up not doing that if you do want to do it this way it's really cute it feels good and it flows better you see the curls all look the same but it was just too long for me so if you want your hair to be curly at the bottom you can add the pieces the way that I did here but if you want your hair to not be that long then you'll see my next method that I'll do at the front and then just make sure you're securing your braiding hair with some glue. Okay, y'all. So if you can't tell, I've literally been doing this hair on the cost of two days. I parted my hair and did the back at night. And then this morning, I did my design. You could do whatever design you want. So I did like a crisscross over here. There's a lot of videos that show people how to do that. But I just did a crisscross. So I did boxes all the way like you saw in my parting video. In my parting at the beginning and then I just crisscrossed it all the way to the end and then to make this flat it kind of looks like a flat twist but I don't know how to flat twist so I did like three separate boxes like these one two three and basically I just combined them like this to make one like that and I did that for all of these and then I crisscrossed here as well so basically I'm mirroring what's here is what's here and then for the flip over I have these three that I left out okay and you can do them like this or like this and I'm about to make them goddess so I'm gonna show you guys how I'm doing that you want to go ahead and just add your braiding hair onto your actual hair after splitting it into half add some shiny jam and then start twisting I didn't, I'm so sorry y'all I did not realize it was this many cuts on here but anyway go ahead and add your curly piece for that boho style and then you're gonna take the longer piece out the way the curly piece and then keep twisting and as I've said in the back depending on how thick you want your hair to be you can go ahead and add another braiding piece so I'm gonna go ahead and braid down just a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and add another curly piece also the little hairs you see sticking out i can cut those out or use some gel and a crochet hook to kind of like secure it back into the twist twist down a little bit and then take the curly piece out and then you're going to go ahead and keep twisting add some gel so we can prevent those hairs from sticking out and then just keep twisting Go ahead and add another curly piece same way we've done the rest of them and then keep twisting add some gel so the hair does not stick out twist and then take the curly piece out for the boho and then keep twisting you're basically just going to be doing the same method it's kind of repetitive Once you get to the end, this is the part where I was telling you guys, you want to go ahead and just, instead of adding the curly pieces at the end, just wrap your hair to secure it. And then go ahead and add some glue. You can use nail glue, whatever works for you. I like to use hair glue. And then I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys how those look. 
looks so good <laughs> and then i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of them and then i'm gonna come back and show you guys how that looks but yeah that's how it should look see how beautiful the curls look super easy now i'm just gonna show you guys how i was braiding or twisting the the fulani ones i don't even know if i could say this is fulani it's like a rubber band method but we're just gonna go with whatever i call it y'all <laughs> you're gonna go ahead and split your hair into two sections make it ready for the twist and then i go ahead and add my shining gem on my hair just so the hair is not sticking out and everything is nice and tucked depending on how thick you want your hair i went ahead and added another braiding piece just so i could make my twist a little bit bigger once i did that i went ahead and started to twist i twisted down for a little bit went ahead and put that curl in there and then you want to twist and then take the curly piece out for that boho look once you do that you're gonna go ahead and just keep twisting your hair then I added another piece of braiding hair to make it a little bit thicker and also add length and then you're gonna go ahead and just keep twisting and then I added another piece of curly hair twist once or twice and then you're gonna go ahead and take that curly piece out as well and then you keep twisting if you see any hair sticking out just make sure you put in gel and once you see that you just pull the hair out and then you should be good and then just keep twisting and twisting same method we've been doing the whole time then go ahead and add another curly piece like I said I ended up adding more in the front because I want more curls in the front then take that curly piece out i clipped it out the way because when i put the other one in my mouth it was taking off my lip gloss and i was not having it once you have that just add gel just to make sure that little piece gets back into the twist and then you're just going to go ahead and keep twisting until you get to the end that little piece that's sticking out i ended up just crocheting it in and you would not even see it so if you have that you can cut it or crochet it in either way and then you're gonna go ahead and secure that. And then add your glue to it to close it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the clip out just to show you guys how it looks with the curls. And there you have it. I'm gonna go ahead and dip my hair into hot water. I'm doing that to just have that curls at the bottom because obviously the braiding hair is synthetic. I wrap it on my flexi rod and then I dipped it in hot water and that was it once you do that you should have your bottom is curls as well this is the after once I've dipped my hair and I'm just taking the flexi rod out to show you guys how the hair looks all together and there you go I made sure I didn't make my bottom curls too curly because obviously my loose bow hair is wet and wavy so I did not want it to throw off my curl pattern once you do that I use an activator to activate my curls pass my hands through it so everything is just nice and shiny and then I went ahead and added my spray and this is how we're looking y'all like like i love it oh my gosh y'all yeah you can literally flip it mm -hmm. you do other side yeah or you can just leave it down like regular before or you can even push these like this like okay my loves this concludes the end of the video if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the subscribe button comment if you have any questions i'll make sure i answer them in the comments below but let's get into it let's do something different okay yeah you can switch these up however you want you can do the crisscross method here too so it's like a little design however you want you can add accessories you can add jewelry it's so much stuff you can do and look at the bow, like, don't play. That is so cute. Guys. Guys. Anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.
Bye chérie.